GC here. Hi, guys and gals. Hey, hope you're well. It is Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. It must be about 3.30, something like that. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, 3.30. Yeah, so just finished having a, a chat, a FaceTime chat with uh, my, my new friend, uh, Jordan. Hi there, Jordan. It was great having a chat with you. And uh, we, we touched on a subject at one point about uh, a number of, well, it, it, it came on like the amount of Facebook friends or subs that you have on YouTube. And we were talking about uh, different ways of communicating. And I was reminded that uh, when we still had dial up, that we use, um, I, I wish I could remember, uh, we use a video chatting program uh, with my family. And like I say, it was it was not Stickham, but it was something like that, I guess the name. But it was not Stickham, that was another one. Um, and uh, it was like, I just thought like, you know, video conferences on uh, dial-up modems. I mean, <laughs> think about it now. It just seems ridiculous, doesn't it? But it was just so mind-boggling then, wasn't it? I mean, any of you have done that. And I'm trying to think, it was it stick camera? There was something that people were using. Those of you who might be watching this will probably remember SouthTube. Now, for those who don't know what SouthTube was, it was like a, a YouTube gathering in South because it was in the South. So there was a lot of YouTubers from the South of, uh, of the United States. And people like myself, well, we would kind of like hang on basically from afar. And there would, there was, at least on one of them, or maybe more, no, there were more than one. They would be, um, uh, th there would be um, a video type of conference or something. Uh, see, I get a really funny, noise I guess it's okay it must have been something that just happened on my on my mic sorry about that um, and uh, yeah we would use things like that and I, I remember I was doing it with the computer uh, so I guess I didn't feel it at the time I was doing it like I say with the computer but with it wasn't dial up it was um, ADSL I think my modem was at the time because I could not have done it with dial-up. That would have been impossible. But it's, I still didn't have, I don't think at the time that I had anything else but ADSL, whatever, anyway. And that was faster, but compared to today's uh, methods, you know, it is was just so slow. And one of the things that we did chat about though, like I guess it was the number of subs. And I was thinking like, how many of my uh, YouTube subs have actually passed away um, and of course some have just disappeared uh, but they still kept their YouTube channel they didn't close it but it was it was a sobering thing it really was two two days ago there was um, I think it was two days ago what are we today we are the 11th or 12th what's today Today is the, is the 12th, so I think it was yesterday, was um, Melissa. Uh, so uh, Melissa, and she was, uh, those of you who remember her on YouTube, but she's passed away now for a few years, but she was such a lovely person, such a lovely lady. And um, we had made so many videos together and she had been one of the people also at, at SouthTube. And um, yeah, I know, I, I, saw, I saw that and I, I was thinking like, wow, just one of many, but I really do miss her. You know, those were in the old days when we would actually, people would actually send, send gifts and send, send stuff from your country or your part of the world one to another. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was just, just all of a sudden got to me. I mean, how, how much did I, I miss some of those people, yeah. You know, and uh, was it geriatric, was it 1927, I think it was, who was at the time one of the oldest, if not the oldest YouTuber at the time. 
and uh, we had made a video where we were chatting together and I mean and he had what what did he have for a following and I chatted we chatted all three him his brother his older brother and me his older brother I don't know did he have a YouTube channel I don't think so he might have had a channel but he wasn't making videos but yeah it was it was it was good times and you know uh, I mentioned that on a tag on Monday where most of the people or a lot of people we had met via um, via either spooky university or other types of video responses as we used to have and uh, that was such an interesting way of meeting people because you know you you saw them you interacted with them and uh, for those of you who might remember how it was uh and or actually i should put it the other way around for those of you who didn't know what we're talking about so you'd have like the video that the person made and on the bottom you'd have all these little thumbnails with the people who had responded so you could kind of like already from the picture the thumbnail and the title of the video you'd say oh let's go and see that one let's go and see that one and very often you'd end up watching all of them and from that you'd usually well not always but you'd often end up subbing to one or the other of these people and that's how we created communities at the time and the thing was is that very often we would create like-minded communities at the time now interesting of course is that a lot of these communities splintered and became like i was going to say smaller communities that were even more closely knit because of sometimes political views or uh, there was also at the time there was quite a large uh, let's say group that were well maybe it still exists but there was a quite a large group of uh, people that were uh, let me see now this was when, when was this so like the early early 2000s wasn't it and so there would be a lot of well lgbt uh people that got together around certain groups i'm trying to remember the name of one of those groups um it doesn't matter and then there were those uh, uh probably like myself that liked to do skits a lot at the time and uh, that's also where i had a lot of good time with with, with tweetness and then there was melissa of course who was into that and um yeah there was others of course blue flamingo <laughs> i mean he changed his channel but blue flamingo yeah yeah i was those really were good days down the memory lane and a few of us are left i mean like uh you take uh the legend which at the time was he cigar dad if you're listening you you'll be able to answer because i know you've had quite a few channels there was cigar dad king siggy and so on and wasn't if I'm right, I mean, uh, Cigar Dad at the time was with was it with Biddle Boy and uh, there was a couple others together, wasn't there? That you'd make you'd make kind of videos together or something. You know, it's it's getting to be a long ways off now. Yeah. Anyway, so I get all into all of this because I had this chat with Jordan and it brought back a bunch of memories. Okay. Anyway, I think that's enough for today's Wednesday vlog. Anyway, I hope you're all well and take care and have a good week for what's left of it. Take care. Bye-bye. This is signing off.